Hello everybody, it's Javier coming out with a quick video to recap the Columbus Life Builder Program that we talked about during the Super Saturday event in Anaheim about a week and a half ago that some of you attended but most did not and had a lot of questions about it. I also recapped it this past Saturday during our Saturday morning webinar. So here it is for those that could not make it or just simply want to get some of the information as a refresher as well. Now what I'm going to share with you applies to only one company and only to one product and the company is Columbus Life. That's the provider that we're talking about of the carrier with FFS and we're talking about their Index Explorer Plus IUL. And that's it. It does not apply in any way, shape, or form to anything else other than this. And it is a 125% payout program, but works a little different for FFS as part of the builder program. Now, what this is designed and intended to, and the reason that I'm so excited is because it solves one of the challenges we have in the specialized markets. This product can help you make more money with the same amount of production and the size team that you have already. And at the same time, as you recruit and grow, it can help you exponentially as well. So it's designed for builders who want to personally recruit and go wide. Also that want to maintain, uh, build and maintain a strong base shop and develop RMDs or regional marketing directors and never lose another recruit to the competition. That's very important. Again, in the specialized markets where we work with more seasoned industry professionals that sometimes uh, don't like the lower contracts that we start at. But you need to understand that our compensation program and poster and payout, the grid as we call it, comes from the system, not necessarily from the specialized markets. And by system, I'm talking about more of the MLM side of the house where you recruit people who bring policies and applications to you. Whereas here, we're putting a lot of people to work in the specialized markets. And so it's not as attractive, but the good news is that this particular product can help solve that challenge. And I'm gonna show you how just right now. Now, nothing changes as far as the promotional levels or level contracts that we have. Uh, FFS still starts at 30, then goes to 40%, 50 all the way up to 90 or 90%. What I'm going to share with you only applies to those that are regional marketing directors and above, <clears throat> which should be everybody. If you're not already an RMD, you better hurry up and become one because that's where the generation overrides that I'm going to share with you start. If you are a 64% or a higher agent with us and you have somebody that's 50% or less, this does not apply until they become RMDs just like you and the bulk of the money will stay with the people doing the bulk of the work. And that's why I'm so excited about this. Also, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I'm just sharing this with you to provide the information that FFS has tasked me with sharing with you. And you can make up your own mind in regards to where you send your business to as well. So here's one of the beautiful things about this plan. The 125 or 125% simply represents that the extra 25% above 100 is thrown into the mix with the generational overrides. And so what it does, it gives us all a parries that are leveraging this compensation plan because what it does, it increases from 8.25, the generational overrides to 30%. And that's a tremendous, tremendous difference. So as you can see on the right hand side, somebody that's direct to you, an RMD or above that's direct to you and you being an RMD or above gives you a 14% generational override. Then it goes to 7% for the second generation, 4%, 2.5%, 1.5%, 1%. And as you can add that up, that's 30%, which is a lot. Let's compare that to the old way. We call it the classic compensation plan. And here it is. First generation currently is 3%. You go from 3% to 14%, which is a tremendous difference of almost 4%. Then it goes from 2% to 7, 1.5 to 4, 1% <clears throat> to 2.5, and, and a fifth generation from half a point to 1.5, and, and sixth generation, which is as far as we pay out, goes from one quarter to a full 1% or four times more for people that are deep down in your leg or your team, which is simply incredible. And so here's a little bit of a difference and give you an example of what it is we're talking about. Let's just say you become an RMD and as an RMD, you are at a 68% contract level. We're assuming a $1,500 target premium by that RMD below you. Uh, in our team, our target premium, average target premium is closer to 2,500, but still, we're going to just show you how powerful this is in concept wise. So if you have a $1,500 target premium and you are a 68% AMD with a direct RMD, meaning somebody you personally recruited that reports directly to you, they are at 64. On the left is the new builder plan and on the right is the classic plan. They're both live. The builder plan only applies, like I said earlier, to one company and one product. So in this example, the difference between 64 and 68% is 4%. So your spread is 4% or $60, because 4% of 1,500 is 60 bucks. Now, this RMD is direct to you, so that's a first generation RMD to you. Therefore, 
As a first generation RMD under the builder plan, you would get a 14% override of $210 for a grand total of $270. Now, if you look on the right hand side, it's a classic plan, which all the other carriers and all the other products. And so again, you are an R uh, AMD 68%. You have an RMD direct to you at 64. The spread is still 4%. So you get the $60 just like you did before. However, under the classic plan, it's only 3% for a first generation RMD direct to you. So that would mean you would make $45 instead of 210 and your total will be 105 versus $270, twice as much for somebody that's direct to you in this particular scenario. The beauty about this is that it goes down below just those that are direct to you because if this RMD has somebody else underneath them, then they'll be second generation, third generation, and so on, all the way up to the sixth generation as well. So let's look at the builder plan in this same scenario. There you are as an SMD at 72%. You have an AMD that's direct to you, and that AMD has an RMD at 64% that's direct to him or her. Same scenario. <clears throat> you get the difference of 4% between the AMD and yourself. But in this example, you get a 7% generational override from the production of that RMD because they are second generation to you or $105 for a total of $165. Under the classic plan, which we all operate under right now, in that very same scenario, you would have that 4% spread, once again, of $60, but you would only get a 2% second generation override of a whopping 30 bucks. So a total of $90 under the classic plan versus 165 of the actual builder plan. And this only gets that much bigger as you build the team and more legs come on board and so on, which I'm gonna show you here in just one second using the income calculator as well. So in this example, as you can see, you have an RMD that's direct to you on your left-hand side as you face out. Same thing, 8% spread, $120 for uh, first generation, which is 14%, another $210 for a total of 330 under the builder plan, versus the classic plan, which is 8% of the spread, which is the same at $120, but the generational now is 3% or 45 for $165 versus 330. So if you can see if the AMD and the RMD that are direct to you both produce anything, you're quickly more than doubling your income with the same amount of production, but the same amount of the size of your team as well. Now we do have both of these calculators available for download, the classic plan and the builder plan, so you can play with it. Now, what I'm gonna show you here <clears throat> is something very simple. On the left-hand side, as you see the classic plan, what that shows you is that if you go out there and write just four policies a month, and the average target premium comes out to around $2,000, you will be or should be at around a 76% contract real soon. And so this doesn't change because here, the potential income on a monthly basis for you would be 6,080 based off your own pen or production. And on an annual basis, that's 72,000. Now, if you look under the builder plan on the right, you'll see, well, basically the same information. Nothing changes because your contract level does not change with either plan. You're still at 76 or whatever contract level you are at, 50, 64, doesn't matter. But where the difference starts to come in, come in is when you start to build the team. And there's no reason why you wouldn't build a team because it will help you leverage other people's times, efforts, and talents as well. Now, as you can see with the number of directs to you being three, so if you get three people and those three people get two people each and they get one person each and then they get one person each and everybody's averaging just two, I mean just two IULs a month, that would pay you in this example. And the average, let's just say it's a $2,000 target premium as well to keep it consistent. Nothing changes on both sides. However, as you can see from just the uh, overrides that we're talking about, you would make around $9,240 under the classic plan per month or $110,000 a year. If you go over to the right-hand side, for the same exact team size and production and target premium, just a different compensation plan under the builder plan, instead of 9,000, you would be making 18,000. And instead of 110, you would make $221,000 a year with the same exact production and the same exact uh, size of your team. So even if your team is bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. It just simply shows you that you can make a whole lot more money with the same amount of production that you currently have by leveraging the actual builder plan if you want to. And then of course, when you look all the way at the bottom, combining your overrides with your personal production, 
On the classic plan, you'd be making about $183,000 a year. Under the builder plan, $294,000 a year. Download the calculators, they're at the bottom of this uh, page, and play with them so you can see how, based on the current production you have right now, it equates to more money. No other way to put it, it just simply gives you more income for the same production and the same size of your team that you currently have right now. Now I know what you're thinking, which is what I was thinking, well how the hell is that possible and how does that compare to other carriers? So what I did, I ran a scenario, an actual illustration for a police officer that I'm working with right now, and in this example, the guy's 30 years old. He's putting $300 a month into an IUL, in IUL, so I ran it through the NLG or National Life Group illustration software, and it gave me a couple of things. First of all, obviously, age is 30, $300 a month is what he's putting in, and that gave him a face amount of $378,000 of initial face amount, and that also provided a target premium of just over $3,000 at $3,060, uh, $3, so we'll call it $3,000. And then what we did is, oh, so I'm sorry, it also gave this person $30,000 a year in income. So if you can remember those numbers. And then what I did is I ran under the Columbus Life illustration software and using the same 30 years old, non-tobacco standard, $300 a month. This one gave us $350,000 of life insurance. And then we fast forwarded to the actual income. This one sped out $39,000 a year, but this one was until age 85 only. And the target premium, which is way on the lower right-hand corner of their illustrations, as you can, let me just zoom in, is $2,695. So we'll call it $2,700 versus the $3,000. But when we ran other scenarios, older people with the same amount of money, it actually matched it almost to a T. And in some cases, it even provided for a higher target premium. So that you won't see any haircuts being taken off of the actual either life insurance amount or anything else. So side by side, here you go. National Life Group on the left is $378,000, on the right is $350,000, target premium of $3060, over here $2,700, income at age 65 was $30,000 versus $39,000 on Columbus. So in a nutshell, it's all well within the ballpark and we would expect that from any other carrier because every carrier is going to price it differently and therefore give us a slight different target premium as well. But if you go back to the income, what a tremendous difference there is for everybody. And it's an opportunity to dramatically increase your income with the same team size that you have right now. And most importantly, the same level of production that you have currently right now. If you wanna learn more, here's what you need to do or are being invited to do. You can attend one of two Columbus Life workshops we're holding that are gonna provide with all the details that you want. It's gonna be held by the Vice President, Western Region Vice President, Sam Pitt for Columbus Life. He's going to be at the office in San Bernardino on Monday, October 8th at 10 a.m. And there's the address. Now, please make sure you register before you show up. And then they're also on the same day, Monday, October 28th at 1 p.m. We're going to be in Santa Ana at 1 p.m. versus 10 a.m. So whether Santa Ana or San Bernardino is closer to you, you can go ahead and do that. Click on the links below to register. The event is free. It's only going to be about an hour and a half. And make sure that you show up early. If you show up on time, you're late. And we really want to eliminate any and all distractions because it's going to be a no-nonsense type of event. Simply because this has the potential to dramatically help our teammates elevate their income with the same, again, size of their team and the same production that they have. Not to mention that if we increase it, it's going to give us exponential growth in income. You don't have to do it. You're just simply being invited to explore it. And if you want to do it, do it. I just finished up my appointment paperwork with them. I've got two new offices that are coming on board that are going to be starting with the Columbus Life product because they're all starting at 50 or 64 or even higher and they're going to bank on the actual generational override more than the spread. And so I would encourage everybody here that wants to or has a team to at least take a hard look at this, ask all the hard questions and then make a decision for yourself. If you have any questions, you can reach the Vice President of Columbus Life of the Western Region. His name is Sam Pitt. That's his phone number, area code 602-717-7320. Any other clarifications or you want me to repeat something, hit the rewind button, watch the video again, or just simply register for one of the upcoming events. And I just want to thank you for your time. Until then, have a great day.